Oops, that was weird the last... I think it was probably someone with my computer for the last... Uh, last episode just ended. Kind of unplanned, so... I figured I'll just take off from there. So we're looking at day four. Creeping up. I got a level three bear right there. Um, could have hunters today, not 100% sure. Uh, gold today is... Oh, God, he's so close. Uh, the gold today is get... Uh, I want to get away from that bear, but I want to get this more materials for the house, or the shelter, base, whatever you want to call it, and then I want to um, build a refinery. That's what it's called. I keep calling it that, and I don't look. Refinery, yep. All that's going to do is just take us going out. We'll just let the base regenerate, and we'll have 500 power and 100 mass, hopefully, when we get back from gathering. Again, this is a mess just because I'm low on storage. Which we will get fixed when we get back because it's going to be crazy. That bear is pretty close. So I'm just going to take off. Just take off. I've got everything I need. Let's get the hell out of here. So we need dying there's dying there's not bad at all. So when, when you die you lose everything. You just get your get your axe and your glow stick. Um, and then you have to wait a hundred seconds for your beacon to come back to where you're at. I should have shot and killed him from the from the base. Dumb move early. Dumb move early. That's alright. We should be able to get everything back. I should think I know where I am. I think if I go straight we would be pretty close to our base. So hopefully we can get back there and the bear's gone and we can get all of our stuff back and get lucky. Looks like it never happened. I think you got I need to check on the Steam boards, but I think it's uh five minutes maybe? Used to be short, but I think it's five minutes now to get your crates back. But I'm going to do it. I just can't pass up crates. Obviously, unless there's a big bear. Maybe a lone wolf. So we're going to come up behind the base. So I jump on those rocks and...
Okay, no bear. Here's the crate. Let's just take everything. I thought I could get up. Now we know. I already got pants, so we're gonna tear these into rags, which gives us two. Which we need, we don't need that. Alright, now I think we're good to go. Yeah, we'll do it this way. Alright, round two. good if you're gonna die at least it's by the base. Ooh, we get lucky there. There it is. There we go, okay. Back on track. I think the only thing holding us back on the base is my wood. If I remember, I think we have plenty of... I think we have plenty of, uh, nails and cordage. stuff built then you can upgrade everything. And all that upgrading needs a refinery. Upgrading tools needs copper. Upgrading the refinery needs, you know, copper and iron. So I'll eat it even though I probably don't need it anymore than I, since I died. But I'd rather eat it than obviously have it go bad. But when it goes bad, I think you can put that in the I know you can put that in the recycler. thirsty since we died. I did that kind of fast, but you always start off with some pants. 
So if you die and you're able to get your crate, you can uh, tear your pants up and get it into that cloth. Cloth's valuable early, and then it kind of loses its need, it seems like. And you just have it kind of sitting in your... I got distracted. Um, you kind of just have it sitting in your crates. plan after I died on which way I was going to go, was hoping the crates would leave me. Now I get a couple cards. I hope when we get back our mass and power are already built up. So too large. Plenty of apples. Then once you build the refinery, it actually uh, takes power to run the refinery. So like I was saying in the first episode, you know, right now it's a lot of managing the resources you have to build and all that. Now late in the game, it's more about managing your power levels and resources as far as your ammo goes. Maybe it's different for other people, but I've seen you go through a lot of ammo. And I don't even hunt the, I don't even attack the hunters very much. This is still not worth it right now. Killing the hunters is worth it, but going in and blowing up the door and getting inside the base, it's just not worth it anymore. Just not worth it. Grenades cost a lot to make. The ammo to blow the door down after the grenades if you don't get them. Rifle SVT, especially upgraded, you can kill the AI hunters in a shot or a couple shots. Headshot, maybe two. And they drop a crate with some pretty good loot in it. So that's worth it. But breaking the bases right now aren't worth it, but I'm sure it will be as we go. Because the hunters have the same stuff in the bases as you do. So they'll have generators and coffee fridges and it'd be nice to ransack those. Fill up your fridge with them. Their meat. Ooh. I already used our lock pick last episode. Just can't make one right now. 
requires iron. And the iron I have, I was going to check to that, I think I can use the SVT rifle. Which we would probably need to make. Because with my, I'm pretty sure the hunter will be building tonight and we'll see him in the morning. They could already be done, I just have not run into him yet. But they have a campfire that always goes, so at night since I'm on that hill, I can probably uh, spot it. So here's where we have dinner for tonight. Where's this guy at? Oh, right there. Oh, right there. Are protein for the night. Still not a lot of copper. The only four, only four copper right now. Uh, I should have been crafting that stuff while I was walking about. I just figured I was there, I would drop it off.
Oh, I should have checked my power and mass when I was there. Yeah, just in case it hadn't filled. Filled up like a little bit another plan, but... check with the AI Hunter might build. any harder there we go. Should have a colony of copper around there. Not there. See I mean, I'm still making wood. But ABC, always be crafty.
just have to leave me alone. He might be my first victim after we get the right one there. If he's still loitering in the area. Those are some tough catches on the drop there. Okay. Diffuse the situation. Oh, look at that. I'm gonna have a barbecue tonight. to regenerate as soon as we build it it'll start regenerating so we should lose all of it yep zero zero now it's all going to regenerate again. so like if we wanted to make a lock pick now we couldn't because it takes check that out lock pick takes 500 power and 75 mass and you know now we have zero zero or five one okay good to use it a lot and I was always getting cold because I was not by the fire so I'll stick it by the fire and then this is going to be I'll build one more here and then this is going to be all my ref generator and stuff down there so here's our refinery let me grab the rest of our some power. We can see, I think, when you turn it on what it takes, so we'll just start with iron, but then we'll go and look and see what we need to start with. So we'll turn this on and see this takes half. So let's just start draining. Because we're going to be using more than we're going to generate, see, down to 24. But we'll let that run until it runs out at least. And 
then you can upgrade to get more lasers, more some of the lenses. And then what I always like to do is the first upgrade is the power efficiency so it doesn't use as much power. Let's see, that takes five copper and 30 iron, so that's why I, always, that's why I started with iron. Okay, so we got that going. all the guns. Never, obviously don't carry them all with you at once, so now it's a little easier pill to swallow when you die when you have a SVT or a shotgun to go back to. We have so many SVT shells now we can rotate between that and the shotgun and save up our ammo. So however much time that was, we're just about out of power, we've made two iron. So that's why it's got to get this thing rolling. Okay, there's our SVT. You can click and get doorway, window, curved, quarter, half, you know, we'll use all those.
Now it used to be the wolves you could shoot from your base and go run it. I don't think that's supposed to happen, but that's what they do. Alright, I think that's about it for today. Should get the rest of the wood around the base. Get buttoned up as far as the walls, the perimeter. Oh, we've got all the guns made now. And start refining so we can do some upgrading and not in bad shape, so. Thanks for checking it out and uh, catch you next time. Take it easy.